everyone, this is Derek with OPTP. If you're somebody who sits for prolonged periods throughout the day, chances are at some point you've experienced some level of tightness or aches and pains in the hips or in the back. So today I'm gonna to show you four great stretches with the original OPTP stretch out strap that'll hopefully get those areas of your body more loose, more awake, more mobile, and hopefully prevent those aches and pains from happening down the road. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, I've got one end of the stretch out strap here, the loop through the foot. I'm gonna lie supine. We're gonna start with a supine hamstring stretch. Non-working sides down, I'm gonna find one of the loops here that allows me to get some leverage on the strap here. Resting the head, I'm gonna pull back. And from this position here, right about here is where I start to feel some good tension develop across the back of the leg. If I wanna get into the calf, I can start to take that toe, point it down towards my body as I drive that heel to the ceiling. Now, after we've done this for about 30 seconds and we've really started to breathe into the stretch and start to feel those muscles loosen up, we can actually progress it a little bit and just pull back a little bit more. And that's what's so wonderful about the stretch out strap here is all these leverage points allow me to uh, challenge myself either to a greater or lesser extent so I can find that perfect stretch. So total here, about uh, 60 seconds on each side and then we would move on. Okay, so the second stretch is gonna be kind of a combined calf, hamstring, and groin stretch. So I'm sitting here uh, on the floor again with one leg extended, the other leg flexed out to the side. Now, what you wanna do is get the strap looped around the foot here again, but this time make sure that the loop is more towards the top of the foot rather than in the middle. Because when we got that leverage point towards the top as we pull back, we're gonna get more leverage on those toes, which is going to move that ankle more into um, some dorsiflexion, which is gonna stretch the back of the calf there. All right, so once we're here, we're going to hinge forward, trying to keep our spine nice and neutral. If it starts to flex a little bit, that's okay, but don't move into any excessive curvature here. And again, these loops are great because I can find that perfect spot that's right for me to really get deep into the stretch. So I feel a wonderful stretch across the calf here going into my hamstring. As I exhale, I can get a little bit deeper as I'm also conscious of driving that knee down towards the floor away from my body and flexing forward. Now, again, once you find that sweet spot, we're gonna wanna hold it for about 30 seconds. But again, it will also take you about 30 seconds to get to that sweet spot. So 60 seconds total on each side. This is a great stretch. Okay, this third stretch is gonna be for the front of the hips. Now, before we get started, I do recommend if you do have sensitivity in your knees, using a pillow on the bottom leg here, all right? I've got my knee offset towards the back to deepen the stretch in my hips. You can also move this leg more underneath your body for less intensity. From here, we're gonna make sure the foot is looped through one end of the stretch out strap. The strap goes over the shoulder and then I've of course got my hands through the loops. All I'm gonna do is give it um, some kind of a pull here as I bring that foot closer to my hip and really feel this wonderful stretch across the front of the leg. Now what I can do here as well is displace my center of mass forward, sink deeper into that hip and oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful exercise for opening up those hips. So same thing here, find your sweet spot for about 30 seconds and then hold it for another 30 seconds here. You can also break this one up into shorter intervals if it gets too intense, but of course you're also gonna wanna do it on the other side. Okay, and our fourth stretch to round things out here is gonna be a great stretch slash mobility drill for the upper body. We're gonna work on creating some length across the chest and the back. When we're sitting for prolonged periods of time, we can develop shortness in our chest, which creates that rounded posture. So we're gonna focus on opening things up here. I've got my hands through the uh, two loops here, uh, equal distance from the ends. I'm gonna bring the strap around the body here. Now turning my palms out, I'm gonna open up and just move into a nice extended position here. Now from here, I'm just gonna start to breathe, letting those chest muscles open up and expand. So you can see this position that I'm in right now is quite different from one where I'm hunched over a keyboard or a writing pad or something like that. Now after I've really breathed into this for about 30 seconds, again, keeping my chin up, not moving into any sort of rounded posture, I'm gonna open up a little bit more and then I'm gonna start to incorporate a little bit of rotation, not excessive rotation, but just enough to where I really feel some more expansion take place across the chest. Keeping the chin up and eyes forward, we would do this about 10 times on each side, really feeling the chest and shoulders open up and that would round out this stretching routine. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about the original stretch out strap, which isn't only great for stretching, but also a ton of mobility drills and other exercises, go to optp.com. Thanks so much again for watching. We'll see you next time.